Hey channel, welcome. Just sitting off on a couple of days camping trip. Another two days clear. And then it's um, D-Day for the um, BMW GSA. So GSA has been sold. The Himalayan gets preference on every right now. I think I haven't taken it out for four months actually. Um, I had to put the battery charge on it last night. So um, it's um, due to be um, sold to a dealer who I bought the Himalayan from actually. But um, it's the one that took me around um, some of Scotland all for Europe and did the Norway tour on that one um, it's been all the Lightning Ridge trips in Australia and the Silverton and hey John and welcome back I just thought I'd talk about the Royal Enfield fuel economy so I'm sitting on a tank of fuel here or not a full tank I should have two thirds of that <laughs> um, and that's one good thing about it I'll joke about that but you know the fuel economy is absolutely fantastic I am fully loaded uh, just about it's a few bits and pieces missing off the bike but very very minor um, not much at all probably the heaviest thing is a couple of water bottles and a fuel bladder um, so I'm pretty much fully loaded um, and it does actually seem to add up and verify so when I get to two thirds of the tank down um, and the count up trip starts for the reserve um, I've usually done around 280 to 70 kilometers um, and then within 30 kilometers I found a petrol station and I've usually put in around 10 and a half liters which means there are four and a half liters left in the tank at that point um, so you know on that average you know 2 270 280 let's do 280 it's easy numbers okay two thirds of the tank has given me that so 140 380 420 so about 4 420 per tank um, and like I say, $1.40 at the moment in Australia per litre. Uh, that is good value, right? Cheers Ed. I'm riding down the rail trail here. Not too sure where I should go. It's at 250 meters to the to the pull off. Oh, well. there you go. You've been on the rail trail. <laughs> oh, lost again. This is your typical Australian country town, is this? Teetering on derelict and relying on passing tourism, really, a lot of it. I want to see it self sustaining. Definitely need people like me to come through and buy lunches and coffees and things like that and petrol. So, Sherbog is um, known because it is actually um, an Aboriginal. Um, land community. Um, so they, it's actually a, like an operational reserve. I think it's classed as you know, allowed alcohol or anything on the on the land or bring alcohol into the land or anything like that. Oh, here we go, Russian Shed Museum. So. Um
Anyway, we've got the Sherberg, I just want to know what that was like um, from the signs that have passed. It's probably one of the few um, townships that I haven't been. Okay, channel, so we're going on about a fuel economy on this trip. I don't know if you can see down there if that camera's at the right angle or not. Um, it's just tripped over into the reserve. They're called the F, I don't know why. Um, trip F. Um, but that is your reserve. So I think it had done about 260, 270, which is probably what I said, isn't it? Between 260 and 280. Um, I know it started counting up on its reserve. And both places at the same price. So I just want to let it. Okay, that will do. 10.73 litres, $15. That's got me 400 kilometres. That would have cost me three times that on the BMW. Case closed. Oh, this is better channel. That's what I'm hoping a lot of the other roads are going to be like as well. So here we go, this is the entrance to the falls. Looks like a can camp actually. Yeah. Got a nice quiet camp spot. So this will do nicely.
Hey channel, just thought I'd do the outro for the um, couple of days I've had um, up at the falls there. Uh, thanks for watching, um, please subscribe, please give me a big thumbs up. Um, just on the side of the road here, heading back home, thought I'd just um, stop on this old bridge. Um, but yeah, no, it's been a good few days. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please give me a big thumbs up. I um, really do appreciate your support. Um, any comments on the, um, the mods video, please put in the um, comments below and I'll try and get to answer them.